Hi and welcome to another Jet Air Share and Ship. Now usually we have to go to our product, but today we have a mobile product that's coming to us. This product will be shipped out to our customer in Thailand, one of our many nutraceutical customers. Jay, how are you? Doing well. It's good to see you. What do we got here? Good to see you. Here we have our MDS, or our mobile drying system. All right, on a stainless steel cart. Yep. And this looks like an Enclosure 700. It sure does. It's very similar to the Enclosure 700. If you want to learn more about that, you can check out our videos at jetair.com, or you can go to YouTube. The big difference of that, though, is we have this HMI touchscreen interface. Nice. So what that's really great for is blender drying which is the main purpose of the MDS. Ah, okay, so with blender drying, it takes different amounts of time to dry different sized blenders. What's a normal blender size? A normal blender size is gonna be about 50 cubic feet. And how long does it typically take? Four plus hours to even going into the next day, actually. Really, so you're either gonna do it for four hours or you might do it overnight. So how long, Jay, does the MDS take to dry a 50 cubic foot blender? 22 minutes. Awesome, test it over and over. Yep. It's a great time saver. Absolutely. So what do we got going on here? Well, again, this is 304 stainless as we mentioned and it's a mobile cart. So we have these nice heavy duty casters down at the bottom. Then the other thing we have are these forklift channels. And what those allow us to do is move from mezzanine to mezzanine or from a floor to a different floor without having to use an elevator or anything else. Perfect, yeah. all right. So a whole lot easier to move around. So speaking about moving around, let's look at the other side. Sure. So on the back, you've got some hose, you've got some stainless steel, uh, looks like caps, but why don't you tell us exactly what it is? Right, so these are our Manway adapters and these are actually custom made. Now our customer in Thailand actually required two of them. So they had two different size blenders. So we have these two customized Manway adapters. Do the customers have to pay for that engineering? No, this is something that actually we reach out to the customer and we ensure that you know whatever the size of the blender is or whatever they're hooking up to, we're gonna design that for them, engineered to order, free of charge. Awesome. And I see what looks like a striped hose here. Right. Tell me a little bit about that. So this is our smooth wall hose. We wanna always ensure that we're getting nice flow. And the great thing about this system is that it has these locks in here. And this is always gonna make sure that you have your hose ready to go. It's not gonna be falling off the machine. You can take it you know, from blender to blender. And the other great thing is, as you can see, there's a lot of this hose. Right, 20 feet. Yes. So the reason for that being blender drying, typically that blender is gonna to have to be at different angles to remove some of the water. So we wanna ensure that the hose isn't gonna you know, kind of lock out at a certain height. So the hose takes care of all that travel of the blender as it's drying. Absolutely. Now that looks cool. What's going on with yes. this? This is our cam lock system. So some of you may be familiar with cam locks. What's really great about these is they're simple and easy to use and you can fit them to a bunch of different things. So if you want to use this cam lock, all you're going to do is go ahead and push it on. Then you have the three tabs. You just pull those down and you're ready to go. That's easy, a one man operation. That's the whole thing. Okay, so uh, as I look over here, I see this device, this handheld, what I would call a cannon, Jay. Yes. Uh, what are some of the uses of the cannon? Right, so the cannon's great. It's just a really versatile tool that we add to the machine. Um, if there's ever a big washdown going on in the plant or maybe just some spring cleaning in general, this is gonna be able to take care of that. So, you know, you've washed down your plant, you don't wanna wait to restart. You can dry it real quick with something like this. So I've seen customers use that to dry off walls or to dry off the outside of that blender. Yes. All right. So let's turn it around one more time. Alrighty. So all in all, Jay, for a, a mobile drying system, it doesn't have to just be used for blenders. Some people use it for drying in place or parts of their conveyor line that they don't normally use. They roll this up and plug it right into existing air knives or other drying equipment. Right, that's one of the other beautiful things about this machine. It's not a dedicated machine, meaning you can bring it from line to line if you're just trying to do you know, drying for a, a bottle or any other product. And uh, yeah, it's just an incredible piece of equipment. And it, lastly, it looks like there's a lot of electrical cord in case they need to, to travel a little bit with that. Right, exactly. All I gotta do is bring a drop, plug it in, there's no need to have you know, a transformer there or anything to hook up to. Well, that's our mobile drying system and we're very excited for our customer to receive this in another week. Thank you very much for watching.